Hey everyone, welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, I always say it, but I really mean it. Thank you so much for coming back, I really appreciate that. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. If you could do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're going to talk about a fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, K. Stay tuned. So like I said, the fragrance we're going to talk about today gets a lot of love and a lot of hate in the fragrance community because it's a release from Dolce & Gabbana, which gets everyone excited because the house does release a lot of popular fragrances. This time they came out with something that everyone basically was really looking forward to. And when they got it, they were kind of disappointed because it was another blue fragrance. Now, that's okay because blue fragrances are really popular. They're very easy to wear in most cases. But if you're looking for something new, exciting, it's not always a designer house that's going to deliver that to you. According to Fragranica, the main accords are aromatic, citrus, woody, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, and fresh. The cap, the cap is really cool. Uh, the opening notes comparison, like sparkling blood orange, pressed Sicilian lemon, uh, juniper berries. The heart reveals pimento, essence combined with clary sage, geranium, and labadin. While the base is woody and masculine combining cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli accords. Now all of that information, as I just said, is directly off of Fragranica. I don't know if that's true or not, but since Fragranica is the site everyone uses to get that information, I share that with you because some people really like it. The sprayer, it's a nice sprayer. Looks really clear like this. Nothing crazy. We're gonna give it a quick spray, just in the air for the heck of it first. And let's fill my hand. Now I have had a chance to wear this a couple times. I wanna say about three times, maybe four. Uh, before I get into the overall pieces and parts that I smell from my nose. Personally, it's a nice blue fragrance. It's not my favorite blue fragrance. It's a little spicier than some of them, which that part's pretty cool to me in my opinion. But we're going to go over this and see what we come up with. So when this first gets sprayed on, what I smell is a pepper spicy, something like that. Nice little... I like spicy fragrances. So... I do like the spice in this fragrance comparison to some of the other ones that it gets compared to. The blue fragrances, as we all hear them and talk about them. In the opening, I definitely smell some sort of, maybe it's the lemon. There's a citrus smell that I can smell coming through. And that's okay because, like I said already, I like the fragrance. There's something else coming through there that I don't really know what the smell is. I actually think that's the blood orange. I don't think that's the lemon. There might be a little kick of lemon there. But I like the I like the smell. The opening's pretty cool. That peppery or, or that little um, spicy smell that I get in there is pretty nice. You know, I, it's not anything like it's not anything that's super creative. It's nothing that I haven't smelled before. Something similar to it. In that, in that sense, if you're looking for something like mind-blowing and amazing, this isn't really the fragrance for you. If you're looking for another nice Dolce Gabbana fragrance that's easy to wear, you know, pretty mass appealing, this one's right there. But it's cool. So out of a lot of the other blue fragrances, when I get them to my nose, I don't really get a spiciness out of them, if that makes any sense to you. This one, the spicy part is really sticking out for me. Somewhat woody as well. And as it starts to dry down, some of that, the uh, orange or blood orange, I think it is, lemon, all, those types of things start to fade away a bit more. And then when you get to the root of it all and or the, uh, the base notes, it, it is a little bit more woodsy and rich. If that makes, you know, hopefully it makes sense to you. For comparisons, I mean, if you take any of the blue fragrances that are really popular today, you could say that they're similar to. It's not exactly in line with those. But I do get more of a, a citrus blast out of this one with that, that peppery uh, accord to me. Now, with Dolce Gabbana, I'm a fan of Dolce Gabbana. D&G, great, great fragrances. Pour Homme was a really nice fragrance I used to have back in the day. I don't have it anymore, so I'm going to have to get that one back in my collection. 
But if you're looking for a fragrance that's new release, you just want to add to your collection, you've already tried YSL YEDP, you've tried Blue Day Chanel, you've tried Sauvage, tried all those different fragrances, and you like those in general, and you just want to try another blue fragrance, you could definitely go for this one. It's not the one that I would personally choose out of the blue fragrances. I'd probably go with YEDP or Blue Day Chanel. That's why you always give me reference to them. Um, and as far as the Blue Day Chanel's, I like all the different variations, so I'd be okay with any of those. I probably wear the EDT more than anything else. That was Edward David Thomas EDT because I just think it's a nice fragrance. As far as performance for me, it wasn't the greatest performance. Now, I wore it for about six hours. I got it um, originally around 11 or 12 in the afternoon at work one day. I didn't have a fragrance on when I went to work. And as soon as I opened it up, I decided I was going to be wearing it. So I went and put the fragrance on, wore it around. I, I never received any compliments from this from the three or four times that I wore it. Um, I want to say it's four times if you include that first work day. So overall, projection was for about two hours, you know, maybe that much. Um, I have a coworker that works with me very closely. He didn't say that it was it's crazy potent or too strong when I was inside the office. And he'll let me know as well if it, it does seem like it's a little bit too strong. And this one here, when I wore it, there was no complaints, which that means it's either was just super mass appealing or it just wasn't that crazy strong. In my opinion, based off of what he said and what a couple other people said, they had smell it off of my shirt or off of the bottle itself. It was nice. Nothing crazy, but it was nice. Um, so again, mass peeling, easy to wear. I, I just get that spicy citrus is what I hear, what I smell. And then now, as it starts to dry down, like even 50 minutes to a half hour in, whatever way you want to look at it, it starts to get more woody, which is nice. You know, the overall mixture, this is a very nice fragrance. It's nothing that's crazy. I don't think after I get through this bottle, I would buy another one. Unless I start to wear it and start to become, you know, a, a bigger player in my opinion and something I really want in my collection. But as of right now, it's pretty basic. There's nothing too amazing about it, but there's also nothing really wrong with it. Other than the fact that it's just a little bit too simple for me. And there are other fragrances in the same category that I would vote for before this one to keep in my collection. I say it all the time. I personally recommend if you're going to buy a fragrance or you want to try it out, go try it at a store, try it at the mall. Or buy or order a decant first. Don't spend the big money. Don't make the huge purchase right off the bat. Just because there's a fragrance you're interested in getting. Because a lot of these fragrances are big time purchases. And if you spend all the money, it could be a big loss in the end. Or at least somewhat of a loss where you try to sell the fragrance back to get your money back. Uh, this one here, Dolce & Gabbana K. Uh, nice fragrance. Nothing crazy. Again, if you watch the rest of the review, you kind of get a good idea how my feelings are about this one. I said it a little bit, but I only got like an hour and a half to two hours projection off this overall, even if at all. Um, overall, uh, length of wearing was about six hours. I think I skipped that part. So again, about six hours out of this guy. It might be a little bit longer on clothing, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was not a projection beast. Safe one for the office, things like that. Now, if you haven't done so already, uh, do me a huge favor, click that subscribe button. If you've tried Dolce Gabbana K and you like it, if you don't like it, if you like something else from the House of Dolce Gabbana, or if you have any great, amazing insight and or want to communicate with me in general, down below, throw some comments. I love interacting with everybody, and I do make it a point to try to interact and or reply to every single comment that goes through there. If for some reason I didn't reply, sometimes the alerts don't work, but the initial page or first comment or post, I always see those, so I make sure I put up a comment or reply to you. And I really enjoy that part. I like interacting with everybody. Um, bear with me. I have a little bit of a cold today. And uh, I look forward to reading your comments down below. So remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.